Breaking coverage continues now with CBC News Miami's Peter Dench. He joins us live from Hollywood, where streets have been soaked after hours of heavy rainfall and flooding. And wow, look at that. Peter, have you seen cars stalled out? That's right, Jim. Cars stalled out here in Hollywood. We've seen street flooding like this all around Broward County. For example, take a look at this right here. The floodwaters are flowing into the streets. Now, we have an update from the city of Fort Lauderdale. city says it's received up to, get this, 7.5 inches of rain since Saturday. It expects to receive at least 2 inches of rain every day in the coming days. The rain took its toll on this Monday. In Hollywood, cars stalled out and some streets were underwater. In Fort Lauderdale, this is a view of East Las Olas Boulevard and Northeast 22nd Avenue. In Edgewood at Floyd Hall Stadium, residents lined up to get as many as 10 bags of sand. I'm getting to get as much sand as I can. Uh, I know that where I am, it floods. In Edgewood, some residents already have sandbags stacked up by their front doors. Residents were overwhelmed by flooding in April of last year. This video shows how CBS News Miami was there as Kitty McGowan was rescued. We was lost everything. I mean, we were trapped here. We were rescued on a swamp buggy. We couldn't get out. So we were here for two days just trying to get out of here. McGowan is also president of the Edgewood Civic Association and is concerned about the storm. I mean, obviously, wind is always a scary part of it, but really it's flood water because we are kind of an island in the city. We're not connected to any drainage. In Fort Lauderdale, Mayor Dean Trantalis says the city has taken steps to handle the rainfall. The big takeaway here should be prepare, but don't panic. It is positive both that our Public Works Department and the South Florida Water Management District have advised that the underground water table is not anywhere near saturation level. And we have a couple of brand new notes on the city of Fort Lauderdale. It says it has distributed, get this, 260 tons of sand at three different sites, and it's operating 14 different temporary pumps as well. We are live in Hollywood. Peter Danch, CBS News, Miami. Trying to help folks fortify. All right, Peter Danch, thank you so much for, with that report.